Okay, fellas, so check it out. Here's the scoop. The topic of this video is moles. Now, I have been at war with moles for years, and I've tried everything under the sun. I'm talking jet engines. Smoke bombs. Yeah, this is what they have. Save your money on these things. They don't work. Highly toxic chemical reactions. Shit. <laughs> oh, crap. And a lot of stuff that I didn't record, like HHO explosions. Go? Yep. and a couple of other highly toxic events that I would rather not post online. But basically what it all comes down to is every time I end up killing them with this. A shovel. So out of all the poisons that I've purchased and contaminated my yard with, forget about putting a garden anywhere out there. <laughs> I mean, you'll die in a month from arsenic poisoning or something, who knows, but the reality of the matter is, I'm going to show you what has always been successful for me, and that is just using a shovel. But how do you kill a mole with a shovel? Well, first, you got to try and determine where they're going to be. And what I do is find every hole that they have, and I flush it out with water with a garden hose. 40,000 gallons later, the mud's holding water. I did hear some squeaking, but it might have been a tree. Put it on the high-pressure spray and use it as a drill bit to try and find the location of the hole. That way, once you get water flowing down the hole, now the mole has some work to do. After you have done this attack on his territory, forget about trying to flood the holes, by the way. I've dumped thousands of gallons down these things. You'll hear some squeaking down there, but um, no surfacing. Some people have had luck with them um, just spraying the hose down there and getting them to surface. That does work in certain scenarios, but not in my case. Destroy their holes take the dirt off the top and put it in a wheelbarrow. Use that to repair their damage elsewhere. Sometimes you want to put those moles to work for a few days and let them accumulate some dirt to fix the damage of your previous attacks. So I save that dirt and after I feel like I have enough dirt to um, solve the problem when it's all done, I flood the holes with water. Now I have a bunch of open holes. Then I sit there and I wait maybe an hour or two and I watch for activity. And sure enough, if he doesn't burrow a new hole to mitigate the mud issue you've now caused, he usually does that, by the way. He'll launch a new tunnel straight up and a big old dirt mound will start to appear. When you see that dirt mound, you shove a sh shovel down into that pile as hard as you can for a kill shot, and usually you'll pluck them right out of the ground. That's the easiest way to get them where you want them to be, is destroy their entire system. Put water down every hole. That way you can monitor their behavior. Now you may drown a few of them in the event of flooding the hole with five gallon buckets of water. But from what I've read, they're territorial. So there may only be one mole doing all this damage and that corroborates the past experience because I have killed many of these things. And when you kill one of them with a shovel, it's months before you see damage from another one. So. Don't waste your money on all that crap, in my opinion. Some people think those worms work. I haven't tried those yet. Those may work. People are trying bubble gum, all this other stuff. I'm not gonna bother with that crap. I've wasted my time with enough YouTube advice with these damn smoke bombs and all this other stuff. Those smoke bombs burn a whole 30 seconds, yeah. I pump chlorine gas and muriatic acid gas, which is basically hydrogen chloride gas down that hole for an hour and a day later it's like they invited more moles to come hang out there was a, even more damage due to the fact that i destroyed a previous sector of their zone so at any rate just wanted to post this if you're trying to kill these things your best bet flood the holes with water so you know where they're going to be because they will repair that damage that's how you put them where you want them then if that doesn't kill them in itself you attack them with the shovel after that. That's the, that's the only way for me. I mean. Okay guys, so once again, 
after spending who knows how much money on poisons and chemicals, explosions, acids, electricity, smoke, jet engines, everything I've pumped down these holes and every time I end up killing them with this. Every time. I have not. Well, I may have killed some in my war, but the only noticeable effect is when I kill them with a shovel, then the activity ceases for months.